Today is the day that we watch the final episode of the first season of Fate Zero. I believe this is the last episode to the first season of Fate Zero. From what I'm seeing, there is two seasons of Fate Zero, and we are on season one, of course, and the final episode is this one. So we're gonna see how this season finale actually ends off in Fate Zero. Things are getting spicy, things are getting crazy. Kirei, of course, has entered the battle once more. He's become a master again, and thank Things are unfolding, things are getting spicy, and I am super excited to see what happens next inside of Fate Zero. If you guys are excited for the continuous reactions of the Fate franchise, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind, if you guys do want to get the full experience, you guys can find the full viewing experience over there on the Patreon page where you guys get full reaction videos, early access content, and exclusive series reactions all all over there on the patreon page but yes man this is gonna be the final episode for the first season of fate zero entitled the forbidden feast of madness if that doesn't sound like the final episode of something then i don't know what does <laughs> I'm excited for this episode, dude. Hopefully you guys are excited. With that being said, let's just go through and jump right into this episode. Episode number 13 of Fate Zero. Where are we at? Um, Zabuzo, where you at, buddy? Very foggy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that reference. If you watch Naruto, you know. Um, Ryder, favorite character. Hey, buddy. Anos. Is that his horse? I think he's with his army or something. Up, oh, and we're back here. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Was he dreaming that? <laughs> he's knocked out cold. What brought on this sudden outing? Why are we going into town? Oh, we're going into town? Scenery, that's all. My man in his is going out clothes. His t-shirt, his favorite t-shirt. Fighting to the death is just as exciting as going out to shopping. You sound like you actually saw something like that happen. Did he? He did. Maybe? Huh, okay, so Ryder and the student are going out, and I have a feeling like they're not just going out shopping. Something else might happen. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh-oh. We're with the bad guys. What are y'all doing? They're at the, the hideout? Oh, they found out what happened. Sucks for you guys. Good for us, I guess. I know. These guys are insane. They deserve their hideout to be destroyed. Aww. <laughs> Psychopathic murderers lost their hideout. Uh-huh. It's been a while since we've seen Caster. And the student guy. Uh-huh. No, not another one, bro. Oh my gosh, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> They're crying about their... Uh, we gotta kill these guys, bro. Hey, maybe y'all got what's coming. Jesus. Jesus, Caster. <laughs> He's insane. I don't know how many times I said that, bro. He's insane. How many times have I said that? I don't know, but it's oh, but so true. It was not God that destroyed me and took away my life, but rather the selfishness of my fellow man. Oh. Executed me not for anything wrong that I had done, but because he coveted my wealth and my lands and wanted to take them from me. Is that true? In a little backstory on Caster. It was simple theft by a pack of criminals. There's, there's still a God, right? What is he going to say? See the light shining, oh my gosh. The world seems like it's so boring. But then, the more you look, the more you find all kinds of neat and crazy stuff around you. Yeah. The world filled with so many wondrous and amazing things like this could never have happened simply by chance. These guys are insane. There's a master entertainer somewhere writing the story of all five billion people in this world. I bet. Then, do you know, Suki, do you believe that it's possible God loves humanity? Yeah, I love how they're having this conversation. <laughs> well, he could never do it it's definitely one of my more favorite scenes. These two together is really silly, despite how messed up they are. And at the very same time, he loves screams and blood and utter despair just as much. No, he doesn't, bro. 
I don't think anybody does, but you guys. Jesus. These guys are insane, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't with these two. Jesus. I love how the subtitles even know. Crazed laugh. He's insane, bro. Oh my god. We gotta kill these guys. Ryder, Saber, somebody. Oh my gosh, bro. No, 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 no. This isn't what we need right now. Look at his face, bro. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Jesus. They're about to go do something crazy. We gotta stop them. And the kid's always like, cool, this is so awesome. We're killing people. Like, what? Oh my gosh. Maybe we get a crossover between Ryder and Caster in them. As for you, you can go do whatever you want, but you're not to set foot outside this arcade. Oh gosh, is he gonna break the rules? I don't know. What if Ryder and Caster cross pass? There's no plundering either. Huh? Huh? <laughs> He has no idea what you're saying. No shoplifting and no eating without pay. Oh my gosh. For it with this money. That's nice of him. Gave him some money because, of course, he doesn't have any. <laughs> Love how the subtitles say hearty laugh. Oh my gosh. He's off. Ryder's such a wholesome character. So why he's my favorite. What's the student gonna do? He's at the library. Gonna learn about magic or something? Let's see. What book? Alexander the Great. I know who that is. The king gave control over the lands he had conquered and the rights to the taxes from those lands to the local nobles. Mm-hmm. He continued on his campaign. Oh, this was the dream, huh? Oh. I like how they're doing that. They're like tying it together. Alexander the Great with uh tied in together with Ryder and the dream. Ah uh, yes, here you are. You know, you're so tiny, you're impossible to see. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so massive. What do you want? Dude's as tall as the bookshelf. What is that? Oh my gosh, bro. He's obsessed with this. Whatever that is, bro, he has a t-shirt and everything. That is true. He bought a game console? <laughs> Let's go play video games with him. Come on, that'd be such a good time. We're Ryder, bro, out of all people. Ah, come on. Why are you constantly trying to narrow your own horizons instead of broadening them? I know, come on, let's go hang out with Ryder, bro. Let's have a good day with Ryder. That'd be so cool. I'd love a filler episode like that. Just hanging out with Ryder. Was it this one? Yep, do you know about it? This is a book about me. Oh, he's Alexander the Great. <laughs> you don't know Just ask me. Aww. Jeez, kids being so mean to him. You were really short back when you were first alive. Yeah. You here in such an what if the book's like false? He like reads and it's like none of this is true. I have always believed that you should never completely trust what's written in a book when you don't know the person who wrote it. That's exactly what he's about to do. Say it is false. You're not mad they got it all wrong. <laughs> I would be mad. Really bother me. But of course, Ryder does it. He's a go with the flow kind of guy. Yep, in the history books forever, my guy. It's true that you died in your early 30s? He did? Yes, that one's true. Yikes. I mean, a writer just wants to be reincarnated, man. Ah, shoot. Went from wholesome to crazy people. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what is he about to do? What is he about to do, bro? Destroy the whole bridge or what? Oh, it's not gonna be good. Whatever it is, it's not gonna be good. What is this? Oh, yeah. Something really awesome is gonna happen here. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. This is it. Ryder, I think it's time to step in, buddy. Bro, I wanna see Ryder versus Caster. That'd be so cool. Or even like Saber versus Caster. That'd be awesome. I was just thinking about how boring you are. He's not boring. What? He's the most like. Don't get me going. I could go on. <laughs> Gotta defend my favorite character. With a servant like you, he's practically guaranteed to win. 
Mhm. Aww. Come on, don't say that. You'd be deceased. You'd be dead. <laughs> if the wish you have for the Holy Grail is something that impressed me in some form or manner, does he feel like he's being like carried by Ryder or what? I would be far more inclined to enthusiastically obey your every whim and desire. Aww. Nobody said that the Holy Grail War would be the single most important event of your entire life. There will be others. Aww. When the day finally arrives that you find a way to live that you can truly be proud of, you will be forced into your own grand battle. You keep preaching, bro. Ryder's such a good character. I don't care what anybody says. You will have plenty of time then. Facts. What y'all mean, bro? Y'all two are like a good little team. Probably yes. <laughs> Probably yes. What is this? Take a look, boy. You see, you're looking at the real enemy that I'm facing. Mm-hmm. You and I are the same. Just little dots. What point is there in trying to compare our sizes? I got the chills, bro. Ryder, Ryder's a good character, bro. The weakest and the smallest. That's just perfect. With a body tinier than a Let's go. I've been doing that all the time when I see Ryder. Every time I see him, bro, just do this. In my test beats the invincible heart, the king of conquerors. King of conquerors. Let's go. No matter how weak I am, it really doesn't matter one way or the other to you. Now, where did you get that? That's not what he was saying. That miserable complaining nature of yours is a sign that somewhere inside you is a conqueror. Yeah, you're king of conqueror. You still struggle to reach heights greater than you could ever begin to imagine. Bro, give me a rider and just put him all, like alongside of me. Just let him give me advice. This dude, let's go. Your deepest desires are far greater than yourself. Like they say, glory lies beyond the horizon. Aww. Is that why you kept rushing towards the east all the time like some kind of idiot? <laughs> My glorious dream was never realized. Aww. Go get your dream, man. Even now, boy. Okay, honest remains the place I strive for. Oh, wow. Ah, whoa. After 2,000 years, still dream the same dream about a place he's never seen. I'm a great fool. Oh, I know you're not. A pact with an idiot like you. It's just perfect for me. <laughs> They're the perfect fit together. That's what I said earlier. They're the perfect duo. Bro, fight scenes are about to happen. We're getting set up, bro. This is a season finale. We're getting set up. It is Caster indeed. Next episode about to be fire. Oh, we got Lancer as well. And this new girl. Oh, it's time. Okay, so they're gonna be going after Caster. She wants to go. So that's kind of dangerous. Here it is, music building up, bro. This is about to be, this is about to be spicy, insane, and crazy. She's gonna stay, isn't she? Okay. Without any regret. All right. Just gonna jump off the building? That that's kind of cool. Just don't die. <laughs> Somebody swerving. Saber. Oh, everybody's kind of coming to the river. Bro, it's about to be one of those battles. Everybody's meeting at one point, and it's about to be a fight. There's Caster, bro. Ah, shoot. Caster is in the process of casting some incredible magic. He's about to do something like... I don't even know. Some like one last attack. Then it's gonna be big. Oh my god, bro. I don't like this guy. Terribly sorry, my dear Jean. Not Jean, bro. We're not. <laughs> you care to join us in our revelries? It would give me the greatest pleasure and fulfill the deepest wishes of my tortured soul. Oh gosh, this is about to do something big. And now, once again, we what is he doing? Yo, what is he prepared? Look at the animation, bro. This looks disgusting. Big that is, bro. What even is that? We can't do this. We can't fight nothing like this. That's what I'm saying. What in the world? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> We're dead. It's over. GG. We gotta either like team up with everybody to take down Caster and then fight each other, or we're screwed. Hey, Ryder. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I like that. Smart. I have been going around informing everyone. And Lancer has agreed to come. 
Ooh. All right, so we have like agreed to work together. No backstabbing. You guys got a plan? We haven't faced Caster yet. Nope. Just defeat him. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We gotta stop him fast. Bro, I knew Casper was gonna do something big, but I wasn't expecting this. What do we do? Drag him out. Ooh, that's, that's fire. Let's try that. This is gonna be hard, bro. The season finale is just setting up for a great battle. I'm so excited. I like this trio team. Ryder, Lancer, and Saber. They got something going. I want for you to serve under my command even more now. <laughs> we'll fight later, but for now, we gotta team up. Let's go. That's so cool. The lightning and stuff. Yo, look at Caster in the background, bro. That's scary. Oh, this is awesome. Is she gonna transform? Please transform. I'll, I'm ready, bro. It's fight scene time. These next few episodes are about to be crazy. Look at the animation, bro. Animation's so good in this. It makes you want to, like, cry, bro. <laughs> oh, we're getting spicy already? No, they ended the episode. Like I said, dude, you guys are gonna wanna stick around for the next couple episodes because I have a feeling like it's about to get crazy. All right, so that was the season finale for season one of Fate Zero. And man, are they setting it up to be for this next season? I have a feeling like it's about to be heat. I feel like everything prior has just been building up and up and up and up and up. And I think this next season is about to be insane and crazy. And I am so excited to see what happens next. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you guys are, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video if you guys do continue to enjoy the Fate franchise's reactions. We'll continue to do so if you guys do in fact enjoy and support this video by liking it and all that good stuff but nonetheless let's talk about this episode man episode number 13 the season finale for fate zero for the season one of course was insane was just a crazy just build up of everything and i'm so excited to see how we actually managed to take down caster for this whole entire time bro we have been wanting to take down caster and i have a feeling like it's about to be a final boss fight for the next couple of episodes because we're all going to be like teaming up and originally when i like started watching the show i thought it was going to be more so like a battle royale everybody just fend for themselves but i was not expecting allies and teaming up and stuff it makes it really really cool and really really interesting and not so narrow it makes it more like just broad and more like branching out story wise and plot wise with all the different characters working together it makes it really really interesting because sooner or later they're gonna have to fight i mean it was even said by saber like hey uh we'll be good for now but i'm gonna fight you later bro <laughs> so i'm excited for that i'm also excited to see how they actually work together and take down caster we're gonna talk about everything now man we started this episode out of course with Ryder and the kid going out and then of course we quickly switch to caster and his kid it's kind of like a parallel to be honest like caster and the kid that he's with and then Ryder and the kid that he's with it's kind of like a parallel to be honest like they're the opposites of one another one's good and one's kind of like funny and witty and just friendly and and then on caster's side it's like still kind of funny and witty but it's not it, it, it's not good, bro. It's not good, bro. They're so dark and messed up. They're capturing kids and, like, killing them. And they have a hideout. Like, what is going on with those guys, man? But I do like the parallel between the two. I mean, it's kind of cool to think about. I mean, Caster and Ryder, those two teams, they're kind of, like similar but opposite in the same way if you if you have if you get where i'm coming from you get where i'm coming from if not i'm not gonna try to explain it because i'll just sound stupid so <laughs> i just i just like that i just like uh despite how messed up uh caster squad is caster and the kid i think his name is right Ray, ryu Kuna, kunia i'm gonna check it out right now because as you guys know if you guys have watched up until this point i am awful with names ryu no suki I think something like that you guys know what I'm talking about despite how messed up they are the voice actor for like caster and just how funny but dark and messed up they are at the same time it makes for some really entertaining scenes despite how messed up that they are if that makes sense so they did that aspect really really good these are some really really good villains doesn't change the fact that we got to take them down so hopefully we do take them down uh what else happened inside this episode we got a heart to heart with a uh, rider and the kid that scene was so emotional man I was doing I was doing the the pucker lips and the, the chest pump every single like 
few words every single like sequences of dialogues coming from Ryder and his encouragement and saying like hey you're not small this and that and all the advice that he gave the kid that was that was awesome we quickly converged on the just the the steaming up the build up of everything we got Lancer and Saber and Ryder and everybody kind of coming into play we have the caster reveal for like the crazy monster that he's been like steaming up it came like some some uh, like emerging from the water is completely massive and we have somehow somehow some way have to take that guy down I don't know how We've got to because he is a menace to society, bro. <laughs> As I said, I am super excited to see how they actually, you know, work together and try to take down Caster. Lancer, of course, has some sort of strategy, so we're gonna have to see how that comes into play. And just overall, man, I am super pumped and super excited. They did this, like, last episode for the season really, really well, and they kind of, like, mismatched everything together, and now it's all, like, steaming up and getting crazy, and I have a feeling, like, this next season, especially the, the start, like, the first few episodes of Season 2 of Fate Zero, I have a feeling, like, there's gonna be some crazy fights. Maybe, like, Berserker comes into play, Gil mesh archer maybe we get to see some craziness i'm super excited hopefully you guys are excited nonetheless dude that's going to be it for this episode episode number 13 of fade zero if you guys would actually enjoy the reaction you're right to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel all that good stuff if you guys do want to get the full viewing experience full opacity full everything you guys can find that over there on the patreon page it does help support this channel tremendously and you guys do get bonus content as well on top of that so thank you guys so so much enjoy that but nonetheless that is going to be it for fate zero episode number 13 i'll be seeing you guys in my next one peace